Hi everyone, my name's Dane. I'm a product manager here at Quilla and I'm super excited to introduce a brand new feature called Agreements, which will make it even easier for you to work with your clients and prospects using Quilla. You all know and love Quilla for how easy it is to make web-based interactive content that is super compelling to your buyers and that makes you stand out from the competition. But sometimes to get that all important signature, your prospects just need a plain summary of what they're agreeing to buy to in a more formal style. So that's why we're introducing agreements, a block you can add to the end of your Quilla page to create a more formal looking document to sign. As you can see here, the agreement view has a more formal look with simpler styling that you can use to lay out your terms and services, conditions, and anything else you need in your agreement. You can add tables, and we are also introducing a new pricing summary widget that you can see here. This takes what your prospect has selected in the previous page and lays out in a very simple, easy to understand format. So the buyer knows exactly what they're buying and how much they are buying. If they need to print off this document to get signed by internal stakeholders, there's this download button up the top that makes that really easy to do. Now we've gone through what an agreement is in Quilla, I'm going to show you how to add one to your Quilla page. To add an agreement, you need to scroll to the accept block, which you can scroll down or just simply click this button. And you'll now see a new add agreement button in this accept block here. So simply click on that. Now we've added a couple of examples here of what an agreement can look like. This just gives you a flavor of what the agreements feature can do. So you can either just start a blank one or you can open a pre-saved one using the save block library. So let's add this master services agreement. So on this page, you can add the normal text or use our widget adder to include a table, a divider or that new quote summary option that I explained previously. There is also navigation here on the left, or you can change some of the button text or whether you allow your buyers to be able to download this document. Or at the bottom of this page is the accept form where your buyers can sign off on this document. To change the settings of this accept form, you manage that back in the accept block. So here in the accept block, as per normal, you can add in multiple signatures, you can enter their names, you can also enable payment. Here, I'd recommend putting in a new button here to not be accept, but like a view agreement. And then if we click on that to open the agreement back up, you'll see if you scroll down to the page that there's now multiple signees and the payment details. And finally, to be able to save a preset document, you can go to this icon in the top left here to save to library, and then you can reuse that again later on. So that's agreements. I hope you really enjoy that update and please send us feedback.